Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Pow World, where today we are setting up the base still. Now, you might be wondering, this looks like a pretty efficient base so far, why do you have to set up some more? Well, this is just a breeding farm. And, because off screen here, while I was just currently like learning all the breeding stuff and setting it up, um, I had the smart idea of completely ripping up my old starter base. And we moved it to this very, very flat spot right down there. Yeah. So we are going to be setting up a base down there. Um, another thing here that I have done off screen is for the mining base. We've been doing a little bit of work there. Now if we quickly head over here, I can show you. And, well, here we are. You may notice there we got some Digitos, those guys, and we also have some Anubis. Now, all these Anubis here, the four of them, we have gotten through breeding. That is just uh, the King Paka and then that one fire guy. I'll show you when we get go back over. I'll show you what guys I'm breeding here for the Anubis. Um, I've not gone and looked to see what stats would be good on them, but, yeah. Anyways, what I've done here at the Metal Base, really, is I've... Put up a proper platform with ramps so that way they don't have to like run around the long side they can just go up any kind of side they need um put up a metal storage box so that way there's a lot and then we got this guy here for power and he also gathers wood so we can uh, transform it into charcoal and i originally thought this would probably be a good place for these um i'm actually as of today we are going to be moving all three of these workstations gonna be moving them over to the new base location um i don't know about that but what i did want to do is when i came over we were gonna grab one of these anubis boom why are we, why are we grabbing one of these guys because he's joining our team that's why that's why he's joining us now in terms of the actual guys that i'm going to put in here to replace him i'm just gonna throw in one of the turtles i mean I mean, that's what I've been using. And so we'll go over here, back to this one. That's the farm. Yep. I wish you could name these. I bet there's a way, and I just haven't figured out. But what I'm breeding here to get Anubises is a King Paka and a Van Worm. So, those two. Now, these do have fairly decent stats. I, although, could get probably 100% way better ones. And they are currently making me another egg, and yeah, technically I have another egg in the chest. So, to get started here though, what I think I need is some wood. Because the first thing I wanted, actually no, 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 that's not the first thing I need. Actually, yes it is. It, it's a weird thing, that it's a weird combination of stuff that I need right now. Uh, hold up, let's do this the smart way. Okay, give me half of that. Now, which one of you has all the stone in it? Great. Uh, I gotta get stone. <laughs> oh, hold up, hold up. I always forget about this one way down here. Yep, there's all my stone. And palladium. Nice. So, with that stuff, what we'll do here is we gotta run down here to this one down here. And first things first is we got to get our wood and our stone re-automated. So we got to get that back set up. Unfortunately there, I don't have enough palladium. So I might have to, I'm going to, I don't see any actual ones. So I'm going to actually have to ha harvest. Yeah, no, I got to harvest this to get palladium. Now, I'm mostly 100% just focusing on getting automation reset up for my stone and wood here. That's like our main goal. And then this is going to be a defensive point. You know, just kind of a hold enemies off from the other base. To keep them, you know, from attacking our uh, our farm up there. Right? So this is going to kind of be like a buffer zone. It's also going to be our workshop area. So I think with a bunch of those Nubuses. Because they got four working. And then they also can mine. So we can have them set up here. If I can find another species that's good at handiwork and maybe wood chopping, we can have them, like, we can just, you know, have them automate getting the wood and all that. We Then we can have them do all the crafting and stuff here. That's the goal. That's mostly the goal. And also, 
Not even that. We're, bu we're busting out him. Look at how fast this guy helps me do it. It's like almost immediately, man. Like, my god. You completed it immediately. And then he's just gonna go start working on the mines. My pickaxe broke on me. Ah, I don't have the metal. Uh, I'm gonna have to run up here. I Watch, now I'm not gonna have metal up in this base. I probably don't. I really don't think I do. I don't think I have a bit. Nope. It's all over at the mining base. I already knew it. Okay. Now, I got enough metal for this. Here's my repair bench. Repair. I also need to repair my armor. Jeez. Should have probably focused on that, too. Okay. Now, I believe I got the last amount I need for the logging site. Yes. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do here is just... This metal node is a good kind of just sign. You know what we'll do? Eh. Nah, we'll we'll put it here because that's where the stone one is. Yeah. Brothers of the... I've never seen these guys before. But, you know what they're going to be fighting? Basically, just all my trash <laughs> that I can throw in here. There we go. I really hope they attack this base, not the farm. Again, these guys aren't permanent. I just kind of threw them down to attack the base. Or uh, defend the base when it gets attacked here. I'm starting to, like, not even know what I'm talking about anymore. But what are these guys? Brothers of the... Okay, it's just another group of fanatical cultists. Like, what is with the, what is with this archipelago? All right, like first it was a bunch of thugs, then it was a like the pat was a, the weird guys in the white robes. Now we got the weird guys in the black robes. I feel like these guys are attacking a different. Oh, that one has a flamethrower. Oh, they, they're they hurting me. Anubis! Thank you. I just saw his flamethrower come flying up. Did we get them all? I don't even know who these guys are. These are... You know what this is? So I recently traveled near the fire mile. I'm wondering if that's what it is. They look weird. They definitely look like fanatical cultists. To a death god. Like. I don't know if you guys know what 40k is. The people who watch my videos. But. I'd say these guys. they These guys could probably definitely fall in the lines of chaos. Black Legion maybe. I wouldn't say word bearers. I wouldn't say word bearers. Maybe word bearers. You never know. Okay, but for now, what I think we should do in terms of, like, actual creatures that we throw in here is, I okay, first off, automation to the farming. That is a biggie that we gotta get. So, let me, let me actually, like, carefully think about this. Okay, so these are the three I've picked out here to run the farm. Now, I do realize there are definitely ones that are better, but I don't want to have, like, any overlap. So, I do need to find better ones, like, actually, like, normally in the wild. I was just trying not to get any overlap here on actual, like, food production for the farm. So, uh, t -t we need to get berries set up, and I need berry seeds. I'm pretty sure we got some up there. I might be completely wrong. I need berry seeds up here anywhere at all, guys, by chance. I highly doubt it. I might actually like, have to go explore and go pick berries and find them, you know? The old-fashioned way. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Yep. Also, I just got back from getting the seeds, and I got one of these guys, because I remembered. A T-Font. They're, uh, 
another one. They're an earlier game. You can find them fairly early on, so... These, I think all of these three... Well, not this guy. If you... Do this combo. So basically, boom, 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 boom. This is what I would say is a very early game starter combo for uh, a farm. To just automate it. And then we go with that. Go with him out right now. Okay, so boom. What we're going to do here is a fairy plant. We're just going to do it right in the back here. And I'm out of wood. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Just so that way I don't forget, what we're going to do is we're going to throw down. Where are they? I got these guys when I was exploring. Okay. So, if you guys don't know, the last episode, we only went up to, like, right above this guy. Uh, here on my own a little bit ago, I decided to hold, go explore up more here. And I found out where the Anubis boss Anubis, or the harder version, spawns. And this is like a little desert peninsula. You know, and it's actually fairly awesome looking. Fairly nice area. Uh, only like really explorable at night because I don't have, I didn't have a heat resist on me. But, where are they? I might already have them assigned somewhere else. They might be assigned somewhere else. No, they're not. I found them. So these guys. Transport. So they should be my transport. They'll also do my construction. Um, But what I wanted to do here... Is we need three... Deer. We need three deer. I just saw a diet lower you'll work uh, blood of the dragon why not we'll take you and we'll take you okay that's a good start so those guys will be my tree tree harvesting um now for mining I could just go straight up for these guys I mean we just go for three yeah I feel like that'd be a good one I just want to make sure okay Just making sure there's no better options here. Alright, I got five slots left still open. Now, what I think I should do... Is I'll save that for Anubis's. Because these guys are in here. These are guys are for transport. I'll save that all for Anubis's. But these guys, as you can see here... That's our resource mining automated. Uh, Storage-wise... I need wood. You guys already got me a hundred. Nice. I think, you know what? Uh, the Mammoth Forests, they probably ran out here and did that as well. And then these guys are going to come over and build. Okay. And now that we got that, we can also build this over here. Oh, we'll build it on this corner. So this is just so that way when they actually go and like transport it. Here, you come out and help us, man. Nice. That's perfect. Um... In terms of, like, actually getting what I needed back up and running and automated, we've technically done it. Now, I need a crusher, though. So, that, I have to get more palladium. Um, to do that, though, I'm probably just going to quickly fast travel. Because, I like, it's a lot faster, say, if I just go back over it. Click on this. It's going to load. Wow, that's actually taking longer to load than normal. Jeez. Yeah, it's just because I wanted to come over here and actually, like, do it. But, like, all by the rivers here, we got, like, palladium. We got a lot of palladium. So, I'm going to harvest it up. It just makes it a lot easier. But, we won't need to come back and harvest it once I get the crusher. Because then I can produce it by crushing all the stone that I'm harvesting. Okay, we are back. And, again, I don't have beds for these guys here. I should probably figure something out is that one of my dire howls oh it is they all just went to sleep too on me so okay first things first infrastructure i forgot i learned those but foundations is what we're looking for 
we're looking for foundations. And what we want to do is, I think right over in here with all the trees behind it, we'll go one, two, three, one, two, four. Ah, no! No, 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 no. Not what I wanted, not what I wanted. There we go. Now we got this. Okay. Now, just so that way no, like, bugginess happens with pals, I want to make sure that they can walk in. Um, boom. No, we need... No, we want these. We're just going to do normal walls on it. And we'll go up by two. Do I want to go up by two? You know what? I'll go up by two, and then we'll do something on top. You know, I'll do a second floor on top. Alrighty, here we go. I just got to get this rotated. Come on. Boom. Now we got a staircase and a floor on top. Uh, in terms of what we're going to do up here, I don't know. <laughs> I figured maybe it'd just be a night. Because look, look at where we are. We're on the nice side. We got the cliff to our back. All right. We got this all open over in here. Technically, everything that attacks us comes up from this side right here. I might be able to block it off. And then we actually have, like, gun positions mounted somewhere. And then we could just shoot down upon all the attacking enemies. And I see lights. Is there a camp over there? There is. Uh, we'll not worry about it right now. I need to get these guys beds now. And I just need to do some temporary beds for now. Nothing too faint. I like again. I don't need to go for them fluffy beds. All right, they're gonna get the, they're gonna get dollar store, like you know, they're not even gonna be like real mattresses. They're gonna be those like shitty ones that are like, an, not even an inch thick, like a millimeter thick. You know, the ones that the school gives you to take a nap on when you're like five. Also, I just noticed this was like right next to my base. I feel like that wasn't here last time I was here. I don't feel like this was here. Did we do it? You know, why not? It's level 19. This will, you know, we'll do this to end off the episode. Because I'm, I'm getting real tired of Pal World. I ain't going to lie to you guys. Like, I understand this is a work-in-progress game and all that, but sometimes I just, you know, it's like, what do I do next? And I do believe I know what I'm supposed to do next. That's what I'm going to be doing next episode, is attempting to do it. We're going to go after another tower. Uh, we're going to go after the ice tower next episode. And got to get a proper team built up first. There's nothing but a bunch of fuddlers. Dude, come on. You guys are attacking me. I had to shoot all three of those guys with my last bullets, man. I guess you guys are more... I don't know. Maybe these guys... I don't know. We need to figure out which ones are the good fighters of the pals, you know? There's a Nox way in the back. Kind of came in here looking for the boss. I was more or less hoping for. Probably you're not going to run into the boss. Unless we get... All, yeah, well, we will run into the boss. I'm Also, if you guys can't tell, I'm getting tired. I've been playing uh, a lot of games today. Recording Pal World as last thing, and it was not the best idea. So, I'm hanging in here there by a thread. My, my Anubis has learned a spinning roundhouse. Mate, are you telling me you can do a roundhouse kick? A spinning roundhouse. Okay. That's nice. Um. Watch this be like a dead end as well. I could have sworn I saw something. Am I cuckoo? Yep, no, there's something. Maybe I'm cuckoo. Oh. 
Looks like I'm cuckoo. Okay. I just wanted to come in here and get the boss. Also, like, the entire time I, like, was exploring this area and I built the farm, like, the egg farm and all that, the, the breeding farm, I was just trying to figure out what everything, what I should call everything, um, I didn't see this cave, like, it was not here. Which, which way did I come in? I guess this is a good sign. I don't know. Maybe this will give me a cold resistance. Nope. 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 Alrighty. Uh, maybe they're up in this way. Dude, come on. Just a bunch of syndicate thugs. I don't see... Nope. No boss. Alrighty, bud. This one's a dead end. It's gotta be the next one, then. I'm just trying to find a place. I'm just looking for the boss. Like, tell us where your boss is. That's all we want. Right? That's all we want. Oh my. This one's like so much bigger than the last one, too. Like, all the. I don't know. Maybe this room. It just feels like there's a lot more rooms than the, that one that I normally go to to get sulfur from. Okay, this is the next one we're going to check. And if it's not down this path, I'm lost. I will probably be lost in this dungeon. I have, like, no clue where we, like, how to get back out of this. This has got to be it. I feel like it is. Please? Please be it? Is it? Yeah, I see the tree. This is it. This is usually it when you have the tree. And it's one of these guys. Nice. A sweep. And we got a butt buttload of sweep. So we'll swap over to green. We'll use green on these guys. Ow. And then, boom, we'll drop you like so, just straight into combat. Yeah. We'll get that guy. He's got caught. Ooh, forgot, gotta watch my back. Ah, they're like all targeting me. Except this is one that he's focusing on. 25%. Oh, one of them down here? Okay, let's get you, nice. Got you. Nice. Ow. Okay. We gotta do this the old-fashioned way. Oh, that was a grenade! Grab you and you. Let's see what happens. We might be able to catch them both. It might. Yeah, it's definitely. That's a nice bit of XP for us today. Uh, alrighty. So, what I need to go do now is I need to go work on getting my, uh, my team set up to go actually fight a boss. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. Also, I need to go get food and a bunch of other stuff. And, perfect. A thermal plating... Oh, if you guys, you guys don't know, this is this is probably the best thing possible that we could have found. It's actually what I needed for my uh, next place that I was going to be going to. Is quite literally what I needed. All right, I was going to go build this armor and all that for it, but now I don't need it. And technically, I don't need to build the heat-resistant armor either, because I have one of these. Yeah. And then of course. We have this junk. Throw all this junk away. You guys can have it. Ooh, get out of my inventory. It's gross. Boom. My, my gun's empty. But, yeah. Now we got that. 
So with those heat resists and the cold resists, it just means when I go into the desert, again, no damage from heat. Like, I won't take damage. And same with thermal under undershirt. Won't take damage. But I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. Like, 100%. Also, I gotta organize this, because they keep on eating all my milk. So, yeah, that's probably gonna be it for this episode. So, if you guys have liked this, please do leave a like and subscribe. As well, if you guys don't know, I currently am running a membership goal and a sub goal. So, for the membership goal, it's just the YouTube channel members for $1.99. And the goal is, is that once we hit 10 YouTube channel members, I will be opening up an ARC server for them all to play on. Again, this will be an exclusive members-only ARC server. But we also will be doing some other stuff, such as maybe some Halo game nights and whatever. Just depends on what we're playing at the time. And as well for our sub-goal, last year we hit the goal of 1,000 fairly, fairly... And I wouldn't say early in the year... But I'd say we hit it before the end of the year. Not, We hit it fairly fast, actually, from what I thought, is what I was going to say. But I'm pretty sure we can hit our goal of 10,000 this year. Yes, you heard me right, 10,000. Uh, we could probably hit that goal fairly easily as well. And I believe that we can do it. So if you guys have found yourself liking this video, once again, please do leave a like and subscribe. And this has been Gunshy Moray, signing off.